For this lesson, we're going to talk about cover surfaces and how you can use them to make your AI more evasive and harder to kill. To begin, what we're going to do is create an AI nav mesh. Let's go to AI navigation area. And making sure that grid, snap to terrain, and helpers is on, we're going to draw the nav mesh inside of our pit so then we're able to have them fight. Go ahead and double click there. Let's go ahead and edit this point and have it snap up with this side and we'll have that one go inward. And this one can come outward and we're all good. Pressing escape, I'm going to finalize the nav mesh. I'm going to select it one more time and then press F to freeze it. Now what we want to do is create a box that will allow the AI to be able to hide behind it. So we're going to go over to the side here. We're going to step back up from AI and go to the designer and we're going to choose a box. And now that we have a box, what we're going to do is scale that box up. Now, holding Control and Shift, we'll snap the box into the middle of this world. Now that we have our wall that we're going to hide behind, let's go ahead and press F to freeze it like before. And then we're going to go back to AI, and we're going to choose Cover Surface. And now we have the cover surface into our map. With this, you'll notice a small blue anchor that's facing towards the Y axis. And then we have a red ball that is flashing. And this is an error. It's saying that it's not set up properly. So let's go ahead and turn off a grid snapping because we may have to customize this. We're going to press 2 to go into the rotation. And we're going to rotate this around so that the Y axis axis actually points directly on that corner. And once that's set, we're going to press F as well. Now what we want to do is put an AI in here. Actually, we're going to put two AI and we're going to watch how they behave. This, this will allow us to be able to illustrate this better than say if we jumped inside of the map because then we can actually see on both sides maybe how the AI moves around the block, which we wouldn't be able to do in the game. So I'm going to go back up, I'm going to go to the Entity, go to AI, Characters, and I'm going to double click the Human. Let's go ahead and put him out there, and then holding down Control and Shift like before, we've snapped him in. Let's go ahead and select the Y axis and press Control and D to duplicate it. And we're going to move him around. So they're kind of facing each other. Now if we were to go into this and activate the AI, we would notice that they don't do anything, and that's because they're in the same faction. So let's go ahead and change this guy, and we're going to make him actually be in the faction of the players. So now that we have a good view on this, let's go ahead and move this way, because this guy is actually going to be oblivious since he has no cover surface like this AI. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Game, Enable Physics AI. Contact! And now you'll see that the guy who has the cover surface is actually able to run and get cover immediately, there. while the other guy, who has no cover surface, just stands out in the open. So in itself, imagine yourself being the guy on the right side and you can hunt the player, but now you can't shoot the player because he's hiding behind the wall so well. So this is a perfect explanation of how you can use cover surfaces in a basic sense to protect your AI from being too vulnerable and being able to be hit. 